everybody. How are you doing today, Cal Polk? I am here making this video today for you. Uh, because I had wanted, I figured, you know, Christmas just uh, happened. And so therefore I wanted to get myself something for Christmas. And read it online, of course. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to show you there's, uh, with the Moon Channel Rough Date, there are also, uh, amongst the numerous amounts of clothing, uh, different activities, things you could buy, we do also have some new horses. Um, what I was thinking of doing was actually buying a new horse. Um, and this horse actually seems pretty cool. It is a horse that is here in the multi-class, as far as horses go. Uh, you know, we've, we've had a bunch of riding, draft, race, war work, and superior horses. Um, personally, I just kind of like the multi-class horses that are mixed in between um, a lot of different classes, such as Missouri Fox Trotter being a race horse <clears throat> mixed with, you know, um, the Turkmen mixed with a, ra a race and war background. So some of these horses are really cool. The one, though, that I wanted to get, the new one that came out, is the Norfolk Roadster. Now, this horse isn't necessarily as big as a, the Turkoman, as you can see, but it still is a pretty uh, decent looking horse. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out and see how it goes. There's a bunch of coats to try to choose from. You have black, speckled gray, which are decent. Then you have the rose gray one here, as you can see, plus piebald roan, spotted tricolor, dappled buckskin. Now. The dappled buckskin and the spotted tricolor are the ones that seem to be the fastest. As far as speed and acceleration, just straight off the bat without anything else. And so that's why I'm, I was thinking really of going with the dappled buckskin. And uh, as you can see, I also wanted to make the video to show you guys how much it costs. 950 for these two coats, plus three tokens that you would have gotten for pursuing more and uh raising your level as far as the moonshine roll pertains then you have a couple 550 here not as fast as you can see it takes off one top speed and acceleration but it's still a decent horse if you don't want to spend a thousand dollars you know basically on just the horse alone not even speaking a stable spot or anything if you like the horses you have some of these would be all right too and then it goes down one more notch for the black and the speckled gray coats um, and they're much cheaper as you can see, only $150 in one token. I'm gonna buy one, one of the things I also want to let you know, don't know how many horses everybody has, but basically you would, it costs more than just $950 to be able to get a horse. Reason being is if you have stable open, then basically what ends up happening is uh, you'd have to buy another stall for your stable. See, your, uh, the stall itself costs $750. So if you add that on top of it actually being um, 950 for the horse, it can mean a lot. Now see, this is where the benefits come in, which is another reason why I wanted to make the video. When I buy the horse right off the bat, it's not actually going to be as fast as it possibly can be. It's not gonna be bonded with me as well either. So that video, I'll, I'll put what happens and you know, the things that I go through with this horse through it in another video. Um, so here, as you can see, we right here have offers and rewards, which you get to by actually hitting L3 for offers and rewards, which if you have the outlaw pass, I've been telling people to get it, as well as ranking up in the moonshine roll, uh, it will give you certain offers and rewards. Now this one here, see, I have two right now, and this is a voucher for 30% off a stable, a save, ah, stable stall, excuse me. <laughs> And as you see, basically, there you go. It'll drop the price down to 525, which isn't a lot off. It's not like half off. It's not like, you know, it's free, but it does drop the price. So if you are, uh, you need some money, there you go, you'll be able to get it. There's also an offer, as you can see here, for 30% off on select horses. You got to see the offers, uh, rewards, and the benefits uh, for details to see which horses it is, as well as the saddles. Uh, select saddles as well. The saddles is 40% off, horse is 30, depending on the horse you're looking for. So, I'm, I do want to try this new horse, but I would say definitely go over into the thing, uh, the tab in the options menu, and I'll show you exactly how you do it here in a second to be able to see that. So, I am going to get that, but I want to show you guys how to get there first to do what exactly it is 
Uh, if you know you don't necessarily want to see that horse, or if you don't like that horse, you might have another favorite. You go hit the options button, go to benefits right here, and it does tell you a bunch about it. Um, offers and rewards is right there in the middle, and it'll tell you right here what horses and see. These offers are also available through March 31st of next year, 2020. So definitely come here and check out what you have. This one here, you see 30% off select weapons, as well as you get a free change of appearance. You get a lot of these vouchers by ranking up in the new club pass. So that's basically how you would be able to do it. There's such things as outfits. Um, you'll also get money as you progress through as well. So you select camp equipment. You also get percentage off, which is good. You have two of those for 30% off select. Uh, select coats, select vests, select horses, and this is what I wanted to check out. Now, basically, on the bottom, you hit and hold X. It'll bring you to the catalog, right? Now, in the catalog, if you're actually looking for the horses, what you would do is go to Horses and Tech, Horses there. It'll show you American Standard Bread, Nakoda, all kinds of different breeds of horses uh, that you could actually get. Now, I want to see if I could find exactly on the page where the select horse is because it doesn't actually explain which horse you will get that's what I was trying to see if I could show you guys in this video Turkmen see and all the horses that I showed you in the stable are here as well and they're uh, in you know from all the different classes I'm trying to see exactly how I figure out which one in Arabian 250 well that's how it starts at so it, it isn't actually, let me see if I read it. Nope, okay, so this is basically how you would figure it out. If you have certain horses like the uh, red chestnut here, I believe that one is one, because if you see on the bottom right hand corner, it says offers and rewards pops up. So I do believe that's one. It doesn't pop up for the black Arabian, which is 42 gold. Personally, I thought it's a lot of gold for that kind of horse. But hey, if that's the one you like, then I'd say definitely go check that out. Um, <clears throat> Mustang, for example, is another one and offers and rewards. The ones that do not have gold it pops up for. So what I'd suggest is get a stable first, an extra stall, or if you don't like the horse you have, say you have the original horse you bought in the game, try to sell it. That way you don't even have to buy a stable. You go and you look here at the um, different horses that they have, select whatever kind you want. See if, because you have the extra stall, see if the offers and rewards do actually pop up because it's on select horses I don't believe it's on every single one it could be on just every one you don't buy with gold and I, this video I believe is done I wanted to show you guys that I'll make another video about when I actually do buy the horse and um, I'm gonna buy another stable spot just simply because I like the horses I have so I'm gonna do that and stay tuned guys for more so if you subscribe you get to catch more of the videos I'm gonna come on and put out there as well as like, it'll help other people to find the video if they were wondering how to do it. Spending a lot of money in Reddit if you don't have a lot can be a big deal for some people. So that was the purpose of me making this video. If it helped you at all, please drop a like, subscribe for more content. And any questions you have or anything, if I didn't explain it well enough, ask me in the comment section. And I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, and happy holidays to everybody. As always, have fun, but also be nice to each other. Let's get along, cooperate, and work, and have fun, and make money in the game as well. Duracell 02 is out. I will catch you guys in the next video. Later.